You talked about the Trump hating media. There's probably nobody um, in terms of mass media that hates Donald Trump more than NBC, NBC News, MSNBC. NBC News and MSNBC hired Ronna McDaniel, the former chair of the RNC, um, and she went on uh, Meet the Press uh, on Sunday. Uh, here she is. Take a listen. When you're the RNC chair, you, you kind of take one for the whole team, right? Now I get to be a little bit more myself, right? This is what I believe. I don't think violence should be in our political discourse, Republican or Democrat. Now, what's interesting uh, is not really her interview, but as you note uh, in your column in the message of the day, is the reaction on both NBC and MSNBC. Take a listen. I think our bosses owe you an apology for putting you in this situation. We weren't asked our opinion of the hiring, but if we were, we would have strongly objected to it. You know what I'm thinking about, Bill, is NBC News management and NBC Universal. They were the ones who did this. I'm wondering if this was an insubordination, right? But this was more of the executive saying we made this hire and then telling their top talent, hey, come out uh, and say things that will appease not the employees, but the viewers. Uh, of NBC and MSNBC who probably don't like this very much. All right, Leland, as you know, I am a simple man. So I'm going to keep this in a very simple zone. Ronna McDaniel made a huge mistake by trying to convince electors in Michigan not to certify the electoral vote. It's an enormous mistake, all right? She never have done it. She did it. She has acknowledged that was a mistake and thrown herself on the mercy of the court by saying, Joe Biden won in a legitimate way. All right, we all make mistakes. But that's not good enough for NBC. No. She has to be canceled. She has to be vaporized. She has to vanish. These are the same people that you'll remember for two solid years. The same identical people. Todd, Scarborough, that crew who convicted Trump and Trump's campaign people for colluding with Russia. They convicted them for mm -hmm. two years. So shouldn't they be canceled, vaporized? No. If you're on the left and you make a mistake, that's OK. But if you're on the right, you're gone. Now, I'd like to go on Meet the Press next Sunday, Easter, and I'll go to Mass early to get there, and tell, okay, um, Miss Welker, Welker, exactly what I just told you. Because you'll remember that Ramaswamy, in the November debate, drilled her right between the eyes by saying, you, madam, were one of the principal convictors of the Trump people in Russian collusion. You remember that? Yeah. I do. It's a great sound bite. I'm using it tonight on the No Spin News. So that's the hypocrisy in play. One final note. NBC News is a shadow of what it once was. MSNBC's viewership is nothing. 120 million Americans have television sets in the home. They can't even do two million viewers in prime time at NBC and never could. I used to beat them six, seven to one when I was doing the O'Reilly Factor. The Today Show has declined. Uh, Fallon is third at night. And the reason is that NBC News is openly hostile to any person who is not a liberal. They are sneering. They are condescending. And the management tried to do a little bit to mitigate that. And then the asylum people, because the inmates are running the asylum, surged. How dare you actually right. give a woman a chance to say her opinion? How dare you? And it's Man. really, really shocking, the whole thing. Well, I, I guess what is almost more shocking to me is that it's proof that the inmates do run the asylum because there hasn't been any, um, shall we say, repercussions. I think you and I both worked in an organization um, that you didn't shoot inside the tent. 
<laughs> I'm really glad you asked that question. So, so Vittert and I were at Fox News when Roger Ailes ran the show, okay? And Ailes was a tough SOB. And if anybody, anybody, right. even me, who is delivering yeah, no, enormous I, I amounts of money, okay, said to Ailes, hey, you can't hire Shirley. I would have been out on my butt <laughs> on 6th Avenue in about 30 seconds. But now... Yeah. You know, it's really it's, it's frightening what's world. happened to corporate media. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.